senior high school, like music class, dancing club, English conversation class, taekwondo club, fell and chai club, and tennis club. What about this time? Well, this time we're going to introduce a tranquil place near our school. Most visitors may put Zhongzheng Park on their sightseeing list when coming to Tilo. Though the place we're going to introduce belongs to Zhongzheng Park, it may be ignored most of the time. This place is called Tinle Dong, and it has an elegant subtitle named The First Literary Trail in Taiwan. The First Literary Trail in Taiwan? That sounds cool. In old days, many poets or those who were fond of poetry would gather in Tinle Dong to compose and read the poems together. Mr. Chen Qiying, one of the most well-known master in the field of literature, used to compose a poem about Tian Dong. The poem says, Chen Shan Si Hua Yi Lan Kan, He Shi Shi Wai Xun Xian Jing. It means, once you lean against the railing in Tian Dong, you will discover that the beautiful mountains look like a great painting. Then there's no reason to seek for other wonderlands. This poem exactly describes the beauty of Tinle Dong. Now let's see what's so special about it. As you get to the entrance of Tinle Dong, you can see there is a huge wide archway standing beneath the tall trees. Then a fish-shaped pound will come into sight. If you take a closer look, there is a small Taiwan-shaped island placed in the middle. There are two goose-like stands on it. That's really special. The pavilions in Tian Dong are definitely worth having a look. If you go around the place, you can find that there are over 7 different kinds of pavilions there. Moreover, there are poems written on the pillars of each one. This one is named Yi Sui Ting, which means gathering the green all together. Look at its roof. It is designed to have 8 angles. This one is Tian Le Ting and the shape of the roof is different from the previous one. They are round. It locates right in front of the path, so it is named after the goose-like statues. This pavilion is named Zhao Qiting. It is also designed to have eight angles with the roof, but the shape is closer to the round. Oh, look at this one. It combines two different pavilions. The one on the left is called Cheng Hui Ting, and the other one is both of them are leaning against the mountainside. This one is special. Can you recognize what it looks like? If you look at it from a far distance, you will find out that it looks like a sheep. Bingo! That's why it is called Xu Zhou Ge, which means a big ship. This architecture has three floors. Step on the top platform and try to imagine that you are taking the ship with the breeze blowing by, and you can enjoy the amazing city view at the same time. No wonder those poem lovers would come here to enjoy reading the poems and to have fun. I can even see our school. It's quite close to our school. Our Chinese teacher usually takes students there to appreciate the poems written on the pillars and learn the rules about them as well. It's not only a place you can take a walk, but a place to learn in practice. You're so right! Next time, if you pay a visit to Keelong, remember to put Tianle Dong on your must-see list, a place at which you will feel amazed. And that's the KJG News for today. I'm Grace Mo. I'm Ashley Lee. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Good, Good day! day.